Reports about Gen X chemical found in Wilmington, North Carolina's drinking water has triggered an urgency for new information and studies about this toxic compound. We know previous chemicals produced by DuPont Cumulus to make Teflon and nonstick pans, water resistant fabrics, and fire phoning foam are classified as possible carcinogenic or cancer causing to humans. Trade chemical Gen X was introduced in 2009 to replace C8 or PFOA and other related compounds in the same type of manufacturing process. These were banned by the EPA after massive lawsuits and claims of cancer and other health risks. Scientific studies linked C8, also known as PFOA, to cancers, thyroid and liver diseases, reproductive problems, colitis, preeclampsia, and pregnancy-induced hypertension, among other serious ailments. Now, Gen X is known as an emerging contaminant because the EPA has not fully studied its health effects. But mind you, C8 was also an emerging contaminant and until independent studies were done after mass class action lawsuits were filed. In the wake of Wilmington's Gen X problem, alarms rang all over North Carolina and other places that have suffered contaminations with discharges from DuPont's plants. Recent published research on PFOA or C8 is being examined, looking for clues to our future with our little study Gen X. For instance, a University of Cincinnati study found that high concentrations of PFOA in the blood of residents exposed to the contaminated water from the Ohio River Valley. Here the chemical was dumped for years by a DuPont plant. That study concluded that their water primarily contaminated by industrial discharges upstream, the location of the DuPont plant, is likely the primary exposure source. The main issue is that treating water with granular activated carbon, according to the research, mitigates but does not eliminate PFOA exposure. So people drinking tap water were contaminated with the chemical. This comes amid increased scrutiny on Gen X and the whole family of chemicals, all developed by DuPont Commuters. Now, Gen X can't totally be removed by water treatment either, at least by not traditional methods, and this has been confirmed by local and state authorities in Wilmington. Although Gen X is said to have a lower toxic profile, researchers warn it could pose similar health risks as its predecessors. The industrial discharges in the Fable site has gone on for years, while over a quarter of a million residents of Brunswick, New Hanover, and Pender counties, just like me, have been drinking the same tap water thinking it was safe. But obviously it wasn't. As an attorney working with National Council, I'm investigating claims related to DuPont Cumulus contaminating our water. At Greg Jones Law, we have experience and a long record of success with personal injury cases involving big corporations and big pharma. If you or someone you know suffered cancer or other serious diseases, call us for a free no-hassle consultation. You can also use our website to contact us. Because at Greg Jones Law, we're here to help.